Hey buddy, Princess in the Bay here. We're back with another food review. This time we are going to breakfast at Cup Century. Yes, we want to try to focus in on some more quick service breakfast. One of those like pre-park, let's get some food and let's go yeah. have breakfast. So we're going to head inside and check it out. Be sure to everything pop, 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 pop. You heard the girl. on this lovely morning with a seitine, chipotle seitine scramble. It looks very similar to the scramble that we had way back when at Art of Animation, but less greasy than that one for sure. You don't see like a whole bunch of grease. I mean, there is some down there. You can see a little bit, but it's not swimming in it like that one was. It's like tofu and seitine basically. The seitan really took on the flavor of the red pepper. Um, which isn't horrible. The little edamame, which is good. Gives you like a nice little crunch. The tofu's not bad, it is firm, which is nice. It's my favorite type of tofu, extra firm actually. The seitan always tastes like, eh. And this one is, like your standard packet of chipotle seitan. It's not spicy. If you're expecting spicy, get some hot sauce or something because you're going to need that. I think what would make this dish like really, really good is if you threw some just in it and made it like a legit scramble. Outside of that, I feel like it's mediocre. Tofu scramble. Looks scrambled. So we have some edamame, spinach, tofu, mm, onions, mushrooms. Surprise, the princess didn't say anything about. And seitan. It definitely looks hearty, as far as you know, actually consuming veggies to put it in your stomach. But whether or not you'd actually want to heart this is another story altogether. Initial thoughts are like warm vegetable salad, basically. Even for some, I don't all in all hate mushrooms, but I think there are far too many mushrooms in this. Maybe a little bit too many onions as well. But those two flavors alone sort of overpower everything else and you get like the hint of red pepper. And then the seitan. And seitan is just like tofu and any other sort of like all meat. What you do with it matters. So if you just throw it in here and cook it, I mean, yeah, you have a protein, but if you don't season it, it's just gonna be something else on the plate, which is kind of what it is here. If you're looking for something healthy-ish before you go to the park, I suppose this will qualify. But if you're looking for like an explosion of flavor, you might want to skip this and get something else. Two out of five ones. Bellini. We had it once before at Centertown Market. It's pretty good, but it's not, um, as good as a bellini that you get at like Topolinos or something that's fresh. This is obviously bottled, so I mean it cures what ails you. It's not the best for breakfast though. This little tiny cutesy bellini bottle. I suppose you should be thankful in day and age that we can get alcohol basically in any way, shape, or form. Be it a bellini, a gin and tonic, a whiskey and coke. All bottled for our convenience. But what we lose in that is some of that fresh flavor. Is what I'm guessing this is. Not horrible. The uh, white peach, you can really taste. It's almost kind of syrupy. Instead of like some like fresh cheese in there. And you couldn't expect fresh, open bottled, but 
I suppose as a hangover cure, this will work, right? Let me know your hangover cures in the comments. As for this, I mean, if it was my only option, I suppose, but I'm not in love with it. Two out of five plus. And then Bear got a nitro cold brew because he's been like all about this nitro cold brew life. And this is a Joffrey's one. So this is the J gem and Jamaican version. It has an interesting taste to it, but I'm just not a big like cold brew fan. I just like a, a hot cup of black coffee instead of that. It's not bad, it's got a nice like um, aromatic flavor to it. It's just not my jam. Now, in order to uh, sort of wean myself off sugary energy drinks, I have been trying a variety of things, one of those being cold brew. I haven't quite figured it out yet since I'm not a humongous coffee person, but I don't like super bitter coffee. Also, obviously not putting any milk or anything else in it. I like it to be smooth and tolerable, enough to wake me up but not murder me. So, in this case, we tried the Shaken Jamaican. Let's see how this one turns out. Okay, I can deal with that. It's a bit harsh on the back end, but it's drinkable at the very least. And it's ice cold, which helps. Uh, as far as my first time trying it, I guess it's two and a half out of five claws. I might try it again. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on this or other coffee drinks that I should try, let me know and help a brother out. Do you like it better than um, Starbucks? Right now, no. I think the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew is better than this. Uh, like it's regular cold brew. I don't think this is a nitro cold brew, but it uh, will do for now. This is the plant-based Mickey waffle. Two things about this: I don't have syrup. I cannot dip. And these potatoes look like they have nothing on them at all. No salt, no pepper, no seasoning. I'm probably gonna need some ketchup or something for that. Or maybe throw it in my satine scramble. I don't know. But here we have the plant-based Mickey Waffle. I love me some Mickey Waffle. This one's a little sad. I have nothing to dunk, so I'm just gonna pull it apart. It smells weedy. It's good, it's your standard Mickey Waffle. I understand now why people say that Chef Mickey is the best Mickey waffles because I think it's true. Even though they're all the same like allergy waffles, something about Chef Mickey just makes it taste better. I don't know. It's got to be the same batter or something. They do something extra to it. it. Makes it less like the allergy bread that you get for dinner. Oh, and a potato. Almost forgot about that. lovely plate of carbs here. I'm surprised they didn't give you like some Beyond sausage or something. I might as well have eaten an overcooked french fry. I would have had more flavor. Or an undercooked french fry. Or anything. This is nasty. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need to go get some condiments for this. Sorry, Mickey. I don't know what they did this to you. Give you Mickey waffles, but then they make sure you just bite his head off. It seems so dramatically wrong. Tastes sort of like I'd expect a um, a breakfast sponge to be seasoned. One out of five paws. 
my war against Mickey Waffles continues, I suppose. As for these uh, breakfast country style potatoes, they do not look promising. They look like almost look like kick cereal. Like that's how much like not potato they look. Pass some that. I very much did. I'd say, uh, obviously, a one out of five balls. You're gonna give it no balls. Actually, we did discuss this. So, inedible, it's zero out of five balls. I will not eat that. Okay. There are some things that even ketchup cannot save. It just tastes like rubbery oil soaked cube. Not a fan. I will admit that so far, I am not having the greatest breakfast, breakfast experience. Now a piping hot bagel sealed in the bag is not giving me a whole lot of hope. But I wanted something light, but still sort of like nutritious. So I got a bagel, it looks like egg, bacon, and I'm gonna guess it's probably either cheddar or American cheese on it. The bagel is extremely soggy on the bottom, but then like hard on the top. I mean, it's food. But I probably had better breakfast tables at a gas station. Maybe just skip pop for breakfast and go to the park, yeah? Two out of five plus. Right, for some bear here. We just finished that uh, everything pop. It was not everything pop. No, everything is definitely not cash money after that. Record. No, 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 no. Uh, I know that there are some of you that hold this place dear in your hearts. If I have wronged you in any way, by all means, file a complaint in the comments. If there's enough of you, we will return. We might return anyway for lunch and dinner because it's been some time since we did that and. We've been staying here at Pop for the last couple of days and we have noticed the menu has changed since our last review. The biggest disappointment for me was the lack of waffle fries. That's a whole nother story. Yes, so we wanna know what you guys think of this place or what you thought of what we think about this place. As always, the comments can be placed, let us know. Hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified of other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.